hey guys a very warm welcome to my channel so i'm going to make a series of video that contain the uh, different types of question that related to csr dvt and get life science exam if you are preparing for any of these life science exam so this uh, series is definitely going to boost your preparation so here is the first question it is given that uh, a mixture of homotetramer x and a heterodimer y with identical molecular weight were reserved in the sts page and it gives three band with molecular weight 40 kilo dalton 60 kilo dalton and 100 kilo dalton so the native so it is asking about the native molecular weight of the homotetramer x protein so i'd like to request you to pause the video and uh, try to solve and then you can see the answer so according to the question it is given that x this x is a homo tetramer and uh, y is a heterodimer okay so when uh, and uh, both of these are identical molecular weight <clears throat> so if if x has the molecular weight suppose w then y is also molecular weight w okay then it is given that uh, it is resolved in the hds page and after that it gives three bands on the gel with molecular weight 40 kilo dalton 60 kilo dalton and again 100 kilo dalton so and finally it is <coughs> asking about the molecular weight of native molecular weight of x okay so technically we, we first uh, try to understand the question in uh, diagrammatically <clears throat> so it is uh, given that the three bands are uh, 100 60 and 40 and uh, we also know that the x is a homo tetramer so let's consider the subunit one subunit of x is uh, 40 kilo dalton let's assume if one subunit of x is 40 kilo dalton then 4 will be 160 so option we can consider this one as right and if we are considering 60 then it will be the 4 will be if one is 60 one subunit then 4 will be 240 and if we consider this is a subunit of uh, this is the molecular weight of one subunit of x then the molecular weight should be 400 but this is not there so from here we can eliminate the option one and three okay and it's also given that molecular weight of x and y are same so like we have assumed these two you can see here the molecule if we are taking the molecular weight as 40 for one subunit then total it will be 160 okay it will be total will be 160 but 
160 and uh, for the same same if we consider the y y because we are getting three band if uh, 40 is the uh, band of x then obviously 60 and 100 that will be the bands of y because it is a heterodimer as it is a heterodimer there will be two subunit and both have both with different molecular weight so one can be one can be 100 and one can be 60 so if we assume this then is to satisfy the whole question okay so from this we can conclude that the molecular weight of the both x and y in the t form it will be 160 so let's assume for the 60 let's assume for the 60 if it is 60 1 is 60 then total will be 240 okay 240 but if one is if the subunit of x is 60 then y will be definitely 100 and another is one is 40 so the molecular weight will be 140 but uh, here this is not uh, satisfied because here it will be 240 but here it will be 140 so according to the question it's given that the molecular weight of x and y it is same alternative test so answer 240 will be wrong so the answer of it will be 160 next it is given that which of the following is true for acetyl coa we all know that this co stands for coenzyme okay so let's see the option uh, it is an acetyl group attached to attached to a type of coenzyme you can see here the coenzyme but in the next three option there is no coenzyme okay so uh, and uh, we also know we also know that to the coenzyme acetyl group is at us hence the name is uh, acetyl coenzyme a so for this the possible answer will be one again it's a calculative question you can also pause the video and uh, so then you can see the answer uh, it is given that a buffer contain 10% glucose okay uh, 20 millimolar trees and 50 millimolar SCL this is the composition of buffer that we need to prepare for making 1 liter of buffer from the following stock solution so it is the stock solution 50% glucose 1 m one mole trees and 1 mole SCL so basically it is giving the stock solution and it is the working solution and we have to calculate how much we have to take from the stock solution so already it is given stock solution are 50% glucose 1 mole or we can write this as 100,000 millimole trees and uh, 1000 uh, millimole SCL or 1 mole SCL whatever so we have to prepare first 10% glucose we have to prepare 10% glucose so 10% glucose of 1 liter that is uh, also 1000 ml so we know the formula actually in one b1 is equal to into I'm sorry in one b1 is equal to in one b b1 is equal to into b2 So 
here already in one is here already in one is given here uh, one mm, sorry here in one is given is 50 percent because we are going to prepare 10 percent of glucose from 50 percent so given stock 50 percent that is n1 and b1 is given uh, sorry we have to find the b1 how much how much volume we have to take so that it will be 10 percent so and we have to prepare 10 percent of 10 percent of 1000 1000 ml or 1 liter whatever so from here we can calculate the b1 b1 for 10 percent glucose is 200 ml and like this we have to we have to make 20 millimole of trees we have to make 20 millimole of trees so uh, that that of uh, one liter so we can use the same formula 20 of one liter so 20 into 1000 into uh, already it is given that uh, the tree stock solution is one molar so it will be 1000 milli mole it will be 1000 milli moles and we have to calculate the volume so your volume will be 20 into 1000 upon 1000 so that will be 20 ml and same for the HCL we have to prepare 50 millimole of FCL HCL of 1 liter so it will be 50 into 1000 that is 50 millimole and 1000 ml is equal to 1 mole of HCL already given so it will be 1000 millimole it will be 1000 millimole into volume so here we can calculate by cancelling 1000 from both sides, V3 will be 50 ml. If we will take this amount of this volume of solution and make and mix it, then we can get the appropriate buffer. You have to see the formula actually here in B. If it is 1 and 1, it will be for stock okay it will be for stock and uh, same it is if it is in 2 and b2 then it is working so one will be stock one will be our working we have to take we have to take this is stock this is our working so for working we have to take the solution from here to here and then we have to dilute it with uh, another thing like water or whatever you have assigned so like this for 50 percent we have to take 200 ml from this to from this to this and uh, same 20 millimolar from this to this and uh, same for the 50 millimolar is here and then we have to mix it then then after that our work will be prepared so Thank you for watching, feel free to ask question in the chat section, uh, comment section if you find any difficulty. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that when I will upload the next video you can get the notification and please do support the channel if it is helpful to you.